There we go, there's the little basket. I've got a white van's just pulled up. I'm really hoping it's my delivery. It's come, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna put give you my little haul. We got one of these. Absolutely perfect amount for my granola. Am I going OTT? Yes. Good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. I'm really excited. We're about to receive our first proper guests since moving into our new home. We're so excited. We've got two friends coming for the weekend. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'm going to see if you can work it out. And we've had like family staying, we've had a kid's home, we've had my sister staying, Aid's parents, but we haven't had proper guests. So we're really, really looking forward to this. So today is going to be all about getting ready for those guests. We're going to go and do a food shop. I've got loads of foodie things I want to do. I want to get their room ready. I want to make a little basket thing for when they come. We're going to be doing really nice things today. A little bit of cleaning and tidying. It's going to be a really fun day. I can't wait to share it with you. So I hope you'll enjoy today please follow along um, subscribe to our channel if you don't already and um, I'm going off to Lidl now I've got a lovely little shopping list we're going to see if we can get all the bits from there oh and I'm really excited I'm expecting a delivery that I can't wait to get today that's why we're actually clean and tidy um, yeah, so there's nothing actually cleaning wise to do in here. I do want to though go and shine up the taps in their bathroom and things like that, which I'll do later. We ended up with two plants in the basket. We got that one there as well. And we got this little lock. Completely sidetracked by the plants as soon as I walk into Lidl. $5.99 for that. We're wanting some other house plants you see in the house. We never used to have house plants and our daughter really got us into them. I think it was more when she went to uni, we got left with all our house plants and I felt really responsible for them. So I upped my game with looking after them and I found out I really enjoy it. And we've added to our own. We've still got some of hers here and um, I'm just really enjoying them. And I was actually thinking that the big one in the window I'd be really good, really sad if she eventually takes it back. So I picked up this aloe vera, and I've already got an aloe vera in our bathroom, and it's thriving. It's massive. So um, we thought we would put one of these in the main bathroom. We're going to go with whites and blues, I think, in that bathroom. So I thought the pot would be really nice. I didn't want to go crazy and just buy loads. Um, I wanted to come home and have a think about it. Also do some research on the plants there. I wish I'd taken some photos of the names. I wanna make sure they're easy to keep. Um, but look, 5 99 bargain. And then the huge, great big ones were 12 99 They didn't sell pots though. That would have been a really good upsell, wouldn't it? If they had pots to match, I would have bought pots and I'd be going back to buy more. Um, I liked their medium sized plants as well. They were $6.99. There's a few of those I want. But we're going to work, work out, aren't we, what we want where. And I'm going to go back in the morning because we want to buy some fresh baguettes anyway. Um, but this one is going to go behind the sofa. See, we already, I, I don't feel like we just bought for the sake of buying today because we already knew we wanted some. Sophia, this one here was my first plant. This was one that. Holly bought me, she painted the pot. We cut her right down. Lots of you gave me advice to cut her back and she was so tall. She started sprouting down the bottom. So would you recommend that she gets cut back again? Please let me know. Carrie, you're always the one that sends me lovely messages. Would you get rid of this leaf? What do you think, what's the best thing? Um, I might put that one there. She can live there for the time being. I've just popped her on an old dinner plate. And until we find a new pot for her. Next up, I wanted to put together a little goodie basket for their room. I love it when we go somewhere and someone's done that. It's just really fun. So I've got this little basket. Our daughter gifted us a couple of those for Christmas. And inside I've got a couple of new flannels. So I'm gonna pop those in first. I've got a couple of toothbrushes. Now I know these people probably won't forget anything. They're used to traveling, they're well organized. However, when my sister comes to the house, she forgets everything. I always have to give her new toothbrushes. I've always got plenty of new toothbrushes in the house. She's never got shower gel, she's never got shampoo. Quite often she needs shoes, she needs a coat. 
tights. She forgets everything. So I'm used to having lots of spares in the house. Um, we're gonna go with the Disney range. So we've got a little soap from the hotel. And we always bring home the spares that we haven't used. And I've got shampoo and conditioner. We're putting these in the bathroom as well. And then we've got um, body wash and body lotion as well. So we're gonna pop those in there we also wanted a few little snacks we're not going to do bottled water i know a lot of people put bottled water but we want to keep the plastics as low as possible and obviously we've already got plastic from things like this so water can be bought from upstairs so they can have glasses we did however pick up some malteser bunnies so we're going to put those in and um some of my favorite german biscuits they're going in as well the other thing we really wanted to pick up we wanted like our favorite things um these aren't the actual ones but the hanuta bars from germany were my favorite chocolate bar growing up it's like a wafer it's like hazelnutty chocolate and we saw that lidl do their own version so they can always then take them up and have them with a cup of tea in bed we thought that would be really nice so they're going in wanted to go and get some tissues right i've got a little packet of new tissues and then I have got loads and loads and loads of Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. So, Aid, what do you think? Do you think they're more of a fresh person? Or I think one fresh and one more fruity. Yeah, I was going to say a fresh one as in... Uh... Stress relief, that's a good one for you. Okay. Oh, that's do, a nice one. Do you want that for me? Put it by my desk if you want. Vanilla berry. Good one. Yeah, it's got berry though, so it's also a little bit fruity. Um, a relaxed black chamomile. Mm, can't really smell that one. I love doing things like this, it's so much fun. A, a cozy vanilla cream. That one's a good one, that one can go in there. And just realised that most of mine are like all the pumpkin scents, and I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. So, um, I think I've got a fresh balsam one, which is a bit more neutral. So I'm going to go one of those and the cozy vanilla cream. And hopefully that's the right choice. If not, they can just come and choose themselves, can't they? Got enough of them here. There we go. There's the little basket. I've got a little gap there and I meant to buy some mints. So I will get those when we go out tomorrow. I'm going to leave that in their room. My man's just pulled up. I'm really hoping it's my delivery. I'm so excited. I'm not going to put this on the table. The packaging is a little bit on the grubby side. So let's see. I've got another delivery coming tomorrow that I'm excited about. I have got a throw for the sofa. I have been wanting a throw for the sofa in here. The amount of times it started off when I was poorly and I had a snooze on the sofa and quite often I just feel a bit chilly and I saw this one, I was, I've constantly got a basket with a wish list on Donnell's and I had this, it's 12 pounds. I didn't want a massive chunky one. So I'm gonna have a look at that. And I also wanted to order a flat sheet for the spare room. We don't have a flat sheet over our bed. We used to, but our room is so, so warm. But we just thought for guests, they might want a sheet just in case they're too warm or too cold. So we thought we'd give the option. And we've got teal bed linen in there. Um, that started off because our daughter always did the sheets with fake tan. And now we like the mix of the coloured bed sheets with the white duvet cover. So I'm gonna stick that into wash. And then the other thing I've been after was um, a tray for the toaster and a tray for the coffee machine. Both of them have broken since we've been in here. We were using really old plastic ones. And oh no, this one's damaged. And these in Dunham were reduced to five pounds, but we don't seem to have a lot, a lot of luck with stuff. This one's all busted. Um, that's a shame, but they were reduced to five pounds. Let's see how the other one is. This one looks, oh, this one is as well. I don't know. That one's not as bad. I thought that was a really good price. 
I really wanted a light fitting as well. I've seen one for the hallway, saw it ages ago, but um, it wasn't able to be delivered. It was in store only, so I'm gonna have to get that another time. So the toaster currently lives on this old tray, which is great. It's perfect for the size, it wipes easily, but it's busted. It's really, really old. We've had them years from Tiger, so it's time for a change. That's a perfect fit and not bad for five pounds. And it matches the kitchen really well. And I think I'm gonna have to call up about this. I don't think that's so good. The other thing I've got coming for here are two cushions for here. We've just got the cushions from our daughter's room. So I've been after some ones to match in here and I've seen some I really like from Next. So they're due to be delivered tomorrow. Let's see what this throw is like. This has become our living room. We don't use the sitting room or we might go in there for half an hour in the evening. Um, but we tend to sit here, so I want this area to feel cosy. I want a couple of cushions and I wanted the throw. So this feels really nice. I like this. I don't like the soft, soft ones. I like something with a little bit of weight. I find like sometimes the soft fleecy ones don't really make you feel warm. I like this. This isn't our regular tablecloth. I've just got that on at the moment. But with green cushions, I think that will look really nice. And not bad for 12 pounds. Let's go and put this plant in its new home. So it did have a big ivy in here and I took that downstairs. So now this can live in here. I don't think I want the bath side. There. And we're just out of soap, so I'm gonna pop that one there, this crisp morning air is one of my favourites. Got a little winter peach marshmallow and I was just going to pop this up here as well. A little cup for rinsing. There. We're going for blues in here. And we bought big navy blue towels um, to go in here as well. Did I tell you that the cardine started really lifting in here as well? Look, you can see it's just lifting up by the wall there. We've got somebody out to um, come and replace loads of the scratched cardine in the kitchen that was, um, it was like that when we moved in. So they're coming, I think next week. So we'll be able to show them because it's all lifting under the sink as well. I have pretty much finished work for the day now. This is what's on my to cook and to bake list. I wanna make some more fig and balsamic jam because we have pretty much eaten all of it. I want to make some of my seasonal nuts because I know they like them. I want to make some cookies, just to have them in the jar with a cup of tea. I want to bake ginger cake. I want to bake a blueberry muffin cake. I want to make coffee ice cream. I want to make pretzel chocolates and German meatballs for dinner tonight and a loaf of bread. Am I going OTT? Yes. <sighs> he always says that. But I really, really enjoy it. What do we do first? I think... Let's get some stuff in the oven. Let's bake a cake. We can, the nuts can go in the oven at the same time as well. I think that's a good idea. Oh, and I wanna get the meatballs on as well, because they always make the house really smell. That's what I thought I would do them today. They're really quite messy. Um, and then I'm gonna have a bath afterwards, because it's kind of thing, when you do them, you just want a bath or a shower because you feel really greasy and horrible. <laughs>
ginger cakes made. I've got seasonal nuts made. I'm waiting for this to um, cool down a bit, then I can whiz it down, and that will be balsamic and fig jam. And now I am going to make the German meatballs ready for dinner tomorrow. Da gehen wir mal ordentlich einen Schubs mit da rein. Das passt also wirklich perfekt zu allen Barbecue-Gerichten. So, trotzdem werden wir noch etwas Pfeffer und Salz dazu geben. I have made these on here before, Frikadellen. The German meatballs. Um, I love this recipe. This is mine and Aids, by the way. I'm getting really dirty now. Hands are in. Uh, this is mine and Aids favorite meal so we thought it'd be really nice to make for our guests um so it's frikadellen mit cola version which is um meatballs um cola meatballs basically um they are so good i am mixing about 800 grams of pork mince with a small onion um i've got three garlic cloves i'll put all the ingredients down below and um, link to the original recipe. Um, I've got a sprinkle of Italian herbs. I've got garlic salt. I've got three garlic cloves. Did I say that already? I've got a huge squirt of mustard in here, salt and pepper, a beaten egg, and I'm just about to add, um, I've taken four slices of bread, which have been soaked in milk. I've taken off the crusts, and I'm about to mix that in as well. I always mix in with one hand. Then that way, if I need to answer the phone or answer the door, I have got a clean hand to use. So I always just mix with the one hand. These are going to be delicious. And the great thing is that they are just as good cold as they are hot. So you can make them in advance, you can even freeze them. We've tried doing that before, but to be honest, we love them so much. We end up eating them, there's never enough to freeze. Um, dipped in mustard, they are, you get them as like big burger types. See, we're just like making mini ones today, but you get them at every event in Germany, a frikadella with a bread roll and a bit of mustard, whether you go to the ice hockey, whether you go to a school event or the corner kiosk at the end of your road, you get these things absolutely everywhere. And they are amazing. So it's a very, very typically German snack or meal. Right, I think that's well mixed in. So I'm just getting my pan hot and making my meatballs and they're going to fry off in their little mini ones. The last thing I'm going to make tonight is no churn ice cream. That is ice cream without um, an ice cream mixer. I've made this before as well. And it's really, really good. Such a good ice cream. So we need two cups of thick cream. I've just measured and it works out to be about 600 mils of cream. So I'm using two of the 300 from Lidl. And this homemade ice cream is just four ingredients. <laughs> Like the ice cream. <laughs> um, the ice cream is there. I'm gonna put it into the bowl. It's nine o'clock. Aid, have you nearly finished work? Uh, yes. Is it working? Are you licking the, the bowl out? What? <laughs> He's licking the ice cream bowl out there. Uh, this oh, ice so nice. cream is so good. It's so creamy, isn't it? Mm. It's a really, really good ice cream. I'm just popping it into this container and I'm going to pop it in the freezer. We've ended up not having dinner tonight. We've been oh, picking. My first batch of frikadellas weren't great. They were too wet and they went all mushy and they fell to bits. So mushy, we, mushy. we ate them. We've just been picking, haven't we? Yeah. Picked up some of the nuts. Decided not to make cookies. I've crossed those off my list. I can tick coffee ice cream off my list. 
done quite well with my list. I know that's coffee from the bottom. You've got ice cream in your tummy. No, no. <laughs> Not in my tummy. <laughs> it is in your tummy. <laughs> There we go, one tub of coffee ice cream. I thought this would be really nice. I've got visions of warm ginger cake with a scoop of coffee ice cream and a drizzle of caramel over the top. So half past nine, time to go and put the kettle on, have a bath, and I will carry on with getting ready for our guests tomorrow. It's been a very successful day. Morning, I am starting my day off with making some homemade granola. I'm just melting down some coconut oil. And to that I've added honey and a third of a cup of brown sugar and I'm going to add some cinnamon to that as well. I'll probably add pumpkin spice. I've um, melted, I'll leave the recipe down below. I just want to count these. It's five cups of oats but I can't. That's two. I can't. Half a cup because I've melted this down because I'm using coconut oil instead of the vegetable oil. Pour it out of here, and I've also decided I'm not adding up nuts at this point. I'm going to use the nuts that I prepared last night because they're going to be really, really good for this flavour. cream looks so good the granola is in the oven for 40 minutes i'm going to check it part way through it recommends turning it look at this such an easy no churn ice cream i'm trying to neutralize the smell from this hot jar, dog jar i need a jar for my granola so i filled it up with boiling water i've added some bicarb soda and squeezed in half a lemon no half a lime that's all i had so i'm hoping that will help neutralize it we'll see um the granola which is gonna need to be broken up there it's quite sort of like in one piece as you can see i've sprinkled over with some cinnamon sugar oh, i'm gonna take these nuts that i made last night and we are going to roughly chop some of these and we're going to add these to the mix this is going to make it so good and then i'll add some dried fruit as well And now on to give their bathroom a nice shine. I have been using the Lime Scale Remover from Amazon. Um, I think you can buy it in other places as well, actually. Um, it's what I used in the old house as well, and it comes up a treat. Just wiping all this away. Now, this was a build up after just one week, but it really shines it up. All the little gaps in the back. I find doing a deep clean once a week and just wiping it over in the daytimes really makes a difference. Look how shiny. Still got watermarks a little bit there. The other thing I want to do, remember I bought this in Poundland the other day. Um, I want to refill it. We bought some more of the bath salts. Um, we bought these in Home Bargains for 3 29 They smell amazing. Really, really lovely bath salts. Morrison's. Lidl and farm shop. We want to go back to Lidl to get some plants because we loved them so much yesterday. Morrison's we want to get the bits that we couldn't get in Lidl and the farm shop we're after a couple of little treats. Morrison's done and not only did we manage to get some bits that we couldn't get in Lidl yesterday, we got some Donna Kebab flavour crisps to try. I'm really excited <laughs> about that. Uh, Lidl next. Let's go see if they've got any of those big plants. No, Lidl done. Are you excited to see what plants we got? The potted ones, you were going to put the oh, postcard I'm already. Oh, the potted ones, they've nearly all sold out since yesterday, they have, haven't yeah. they? They really went fast. Must be the Instagram stories I did. Um, farm shop next. I'll give you my little haul. We got one of these. And, oh, could you pass me my big one, please? 
one of these. We really, really like these pots for 5 99 I think they're really nice. And there we got the big rubber plant for 6 99 as well. And I'm hoping, yay, it does. I had a bucket already actually from our old place. Um, and I'm gonna go and pop that in the kids' bathroom. I think that will look nice. Oh, I can't wait to try these, look. Morrison's only, they're new in apparently. Donna, ke Donna kebab flavor. I'm excited to try those. And our guests are two hours away. Are you excited? Have you yeah. guessed, by the way, who they are yet? Um, I want to bake a cake still. I want Hoover, Mop. Bathrooms are done. Everything else is done, isn't it? Got to put the tumble on. We forgot something, though, so it's nipping back out. my little three-legged stool I think that will look really nice and we want a cabinet there eventually I'd like a proper vanity unit but for now I think that's going to be okay and I'm going to put one on the windowsill so we've got no plants in here um, while we're out my cushions arrive from next I've been wanting some cushions on the sofa to replace the ones from Holly's room. Um, I'm wanting something a bit more puffy to relax on. And I'm hoping, I'm gonna leave them in the wrapping. I'm hoping that green will go quite well. Let's have a look. I don't know now, is that a bit fussy? Let's remove the gray. ones are actually a bit better because they're bigger. Quite nice to lean back on. I don't know, what do you think? I'm going to leave them in their wrappers and see what Aid thinks. I can't decide. I'm just wondering if it's all just a bit too much with the tablecloth, the throw. Are we suddenly getting a little bit busy? And I have changed what I'm going to bake. I am going to do, it says, easy, moist, blueberry cake, one bowl. Just sounds like you can't go wrong. These blueberries look so nice. All right, how many of these do we need? Two cups of blueberries. Two, I'm going to give those a wash and they get mixed with the cornflour. Mix the blueberries and set them to one side. And I love a recipe that uses oil instead of marge or butter. You just know it's gonna be a moist one. The recipe wants sour cream. However, I haven't got any, so I'm replacing it with fat-free natural yogurt. See if that works. I've been really fancy in baked bar top. So I've just mixed it all in. I've mixed in the flour and the baking powder. And actually I need the larger, just spatula. Um, I've mixed in some almond essence, it just smells so nice. And that is the cake batter. And then I am going to fold in the blueberries. Do these nice and gentle so they stay whole. And then I might actually put some flaked almonds on top as well. Like I said, it's not in the recipe. I'll link the recipe down below. But, um, Almond essence oh, smells really strong. But sometimes it's, have, it's fun to use a recipe as a base and have fun with it. I realize this one has been quite food heavy. Um, I do need to just get some cleaning done though and they will be here in about an hour. Exciting. Oh my goodness. This cake batter is so good. The almond essence absolutely makes that exception today. That is going to get some flaked almonds. Could also replace some of the flour and use ground, ground almonds instead. Mm, that's so good. There we go. And that goes in the oven for about 50 mi minutes. Um, I needed a jar for my granola. And I found this. It's got a, 
airtight lid in Morrison's for two pounds. Ah! Good job I haven't done the floor yet. It's just gone everywhere. Oh, this wasn't one of my brightest things to do. Oh, I've made such a mess everywhere. Absolutely perfect amount for my granola. So happy I just had a piece. It is so delicious. Give it a go. So tasty. All right, kitchen is all clean. Downstairs is clean and tidy. Aid's hoovering upstairs. Just giving everything a little once over. We've got their little goodie box there. I think we're ready, aren't we, babe? How far away are they? Um. They said about 39 minutes ago, that was about 15 minutes ago. Okay, so. I'm going to quickly do my nails. Completely forgot about the cake. The alarm went off a few minutes ago and I was busy cleaning the floors. It's been in there a few extra minutes. Hopefully it's not too dry. The cake turned out absolutely perfect. I'll let you know in the next video what it tastes like. So I'm quickly putting some gels on my nails and... Um, I'm going to finish off this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed getting ready with us. It's been a fun few hours and the house feels so nice and clean. I love the fact that this house is so easy to do a big blitz and it feels nice and clean. I said to Ada, I feel like I'm on, what's that program? Is it four in a bed? You know, when they stay at each other's houses and they test it and all that. But um, yeah, we're really, really looking forward to our weekend. We're going to go and do something fun tomorrow. We've got a really fun day planned. So that will be our weekend vlog coming up. Let me know if you've guessed who's coming. I will reveal in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on Sunday at six o'clock. Take care. Lots of love. Bye. We're just on our way to Bath now. We're so looking forward to going and exploring somewhere new. This is such a lovely atmosphere here. And it's the oldest house in Bath. Wow, she wrote it in 1816. That's crazy when you think how well known that story is now. Go on then, Aid. What happens? Don't, I want to get out now. No, you go first. <laughs> <laughs>